Hello. Okay, this tutorial is um, going to go through a step-by-step -step way of how to take um, the image of someone, your friend, or someone who you know, um, to cut them out and then stick them over a, a new background, uh, like this one for instance here. So if you want to put them into there, okay. Now this is the way I do it. There's other ways of doing this, and I'm just going to show you the method that's easy for me and how I use it. So I'm sure there'll be people saying, oh, no, no, you do it this way, or you do it that way. Well, you do it your way, I do it my way. Um, that's all I've got to say on that. Right, let's get started. So first of all, open up the image of your friend, or whoever and now select the free select tool here okay and now carefully just start like there and just work your way around around the outer edge you don't have to go really close up to it we can um, sort that out later just generally go around like that all the way back make sure it completes there and now it'll have this thing around when you let go now what you want to do is go to edit and select cut okay so we don't need this anymore we can close that we say don't save okay now we open up our background There we go. Okay, now we just do edit and now say paste. And there she is. Um, hold on to this one here, the move tool. And then you can move her around. What I generally do when we have an image like this um, here is where the image ends, so I just put tend to put it towards there or something like that I mean you can do it just use your imagination really that's what it's all about um, what background and things are you know that's up to you whatever you want to do okay now over to this one here this is your layered um, column if it's not open you press Control and L together to bring it up and it'll bring this thing up here Right click on the one there and say new layer. Okay, now what you want to do is right click again and now click on add layer mask. And now it says initialize layer mask to white full opacity. Now just say add. Okay. Now select your paintbrush tool. Um, I try to use a big sign, yeah, about that big there. And now I just carefully go around the edge, not all the way to the, um, it's like the hair and the hat. I just go around there like this gently. Okay, once that's done now, I take the smudge tool and then what I do now is zoom in select the smudge tool again Okay, now just because it's a tutorial, I'm doing this quite fast um, Obviously, you'd like to, um, you know, spend time doing this, being very careful. You just want to click around just outside of where it is, hold it down, and then push towards like that. And it'll bring the background from the back through to the front kind of thing. You see what I mean? If you make a mistake and you go too far like that, you just 
say just click there and then push back again like there and you just keep on doing that until you're happy and satisfied so yeah because I'm just doing this quickly just go around like that all the way around Hair, now that's quite a can be tricky <laughs> but just keep at it you know spend five minutes ten minutes just carefully going around making sure that it's you know it looks good you can get away with like doing it um, you know going off slightly and you can put run the thing through filters later on yeah, and just down there. Excellent. Okay, now um, zoom out. Nice. Oops, zoom back in one more. Okay, at this stage now what I do is go to image and now say flatten image so it will bring these two layers here into one there so it's one image now um, yep yeah, and that's it at this point it's done um, usually I like to go on to filters artistic um, it depends what picture it is really. I like to put a bit of soft glow on my images. Brighten them up slightly. Turn that brightness down a bit. Just say OK. Yeah, it depends. I'll leave that up to you, whatever you want to do at this point. Cartoon if it has a nice one. Some, sometimes it looks good, sometimes you know it looks shit. Um, it all depends how you like it. Ah, well, that's my image done. Um, yeah, you can add all kinds of other things as well. Gradient flare, select this one. Bright star, that one's one of my favourites. Say where you want it to go. Choose its size. Change its colour. Say OK. Boom. And now file. Save as. Save. I always have the quality on 100. And that's done. We can close that. Now where's our test? There it is. Open up. There we go. Ready to upload um, to wherever you're going to upload it to. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, adios. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye for now.